The following video is only a very basic introduction to VMware configuration. Depending on the major you go into next semester, you may be presented with additional labs on VMware. Those labs are designed to go into much greater depth than this introduction, so please realize that your use of VMware in this lab is designed to be very rudimentary. Open the Start menu and select the Control Panel. Select the View Network Status and Tasks option under the Network and Internet category. Select the Change Adapter Settings option. Now right-click the Wireless Network Connection icon and click the Disable option. Launch the VMware Workstation application. There should be an icon for it on your desktop, but you can find it under Start, All Programs, VMware if it is not on your desktop. Read the End User License Agreement, or EULA, and select the Agree option, then click the OK button. Select the Create a New Virtual Machine option. Select the Custom option. Note, this is very important. If you miss this step, you will lose the ability to answer some of the questions in the lab that follows. Accept the default settings for hardware compatibility. Select the I will install the operating system later option. Again, this is very important. If you miss this step, you will lose the ability to answer some questions in the lab that follows. Select the type of operating system you're going to install. Please check with your instructor whether it will be Windows 7 x86 or Windows 7 x64. Enter a name for your virtual machine. This name is simply for you to be able to recognize the purpose of the VM. Browse for a folder where you want to store the VM. I recommend creating one folder on the root of the C drive called VMs, then a subfolder called CMPH211 for storing all of the VMs we will be creating in the lab. Accept the default settings of one processor with one core for this VM. Accept the default value for the amount of RAM to be assigned to this VM. Change the network connection settings to bridged. Accept the default settings for the I.O. devices. Create a new virtual disk, setting the disk type to IDE. Increase the size of the disk to 80 gigabytes. Don't worry, you won't lose all that space on your hard drive. This is just setting the maximum size the file can grow to. Since we won't be moving this VM from machine to machine, select the option to save it as one file.
you may give the hard drive file a name or accept a default. Click the Finish button to finalize the build of your VM. Now you're ready to make the last few hardware configuration changes before you power on your VM. Click the Edit Virtual Machine Settings option. Select the CD slash DVD device. Select the Use ISO Image File option. Browse to the location of the ISO image of the OS you're about to install. Please ask your instructor where the ISO image is located. You're now ready to proceed with Lab 5.